Good morning, it is Sunday, show day. I'm at the venue, just got my tan and I'm very tired and very radioactive, as you can see. Um, hungry, thirsty, but yeah, good. Meal one in the morning, 60 grams of chicken and nothing else. Meal two before going on stage, three rice cakes with nut butter and strawberry jam. Hello, hello. This is the morning after the day before, sorry, the morning after competition. Didn't really have much to add or vlog yesterday, purely because uh, I got home from the competition, milled about for a bit. So I'm going to have a five guys for dinner, which as you saw, um, the five guys came, my order came incorrect, basically. They added mushrooms, but I didn't ask for mushrooms. They didn't add my fresh onion that I wanted, didn't add my barbecue sauce, didn't add my mayo. The burger itself was pretty cold, and the fries were cold and disgusting. And the fries, I'm pretty convinced of, have made me sick. Uh, I was doubled up in, in pain after eating them, didn't finish them. And just was very sick, ended up throwing them up. And you could just taste from throwing them up, but I was throwing up the fries. And, and yeah, and today also my girlfriend doesn't feel too great after eating her fries. So... Not the most fun. But anyway, on to the show day. Uh, the show was fantastic. The show itself was, was very well run. Um, I think it started a little bit late. I'm used to things starting late, professional wrestling. Um, the show had a fantastic pump-up area, which was very beneficial, um, I think, to the competitors. It had like a, like a mini gym to the side of the stage, which was very good. Um, in terms of the class I competed in, very competitive, very deep. It was 21 competitors. And talking to some, some of the guys I was on stage with, they all thought that it should have been the first time the category should have been split into people's heights. Um, but yeah, my performance and my look on the day I was really, really, after seeing pictures that I was sent after, afterwards by a few people who were there, um, I'm really happy with my look, really happy with the improvements I've made in such a short, short space of time. I look great, uh, I look full, I look sharper. Um, did everything I could do really to get to stage one. Unfortunately, I did not place top eight, which was quite disappointing at the time when I'd seen that I hadn't made the first call out when I was on stage. I kind of felt very deflated while on stage and just kind of tried to keep a smile on my face while I was doing my front relax pose. And then I just thought to myself, you're here, just enjoy the rest of it. So enjoy my individual routine, 
um, should try to enjoy the 60 second pose down that we did with everyone. But there was 21 people and it was like a literal Royal Rumble scrambling to get a, a little bit of stage space to do your posing. But all in all, anyway, fantastic day. The guys who won were in, incredible for first timers. In, in fact, looking at some of the, the media that was posted yesterday, they could have given a, a, the actual full classes, full categories, tall bodybuilding, medium, short bodybuilding, whatever, classic bodybuilding, um, a real run for their money. Um, so yeah, very competitive class. But as I said, happy with the look that I brought, happy with the improvements I bought. I haven't had my feedback yet, but I know in myself and my coach also um, is of the opinion that I need to grow my legs from the side. Now, what that means is when I do my side shots is to have a bit more depth. From the front, my, my legs look fantastic purely because I have very good condition in my legs. Um, not, not really a lot of size, in my opinion, but my condition is fantastic and it makes my legs look fantastic from the front. From the side, I don't really have the depth in my hamstrings. Um, and that's something that we're going to... I'm sure we're going to work on. Uh, my coach hasn't sent me a plan for off season because we're not in the off season yet. Because I've got two shows this weekend. So um, that being said, I'm not going to document my peak week again because you just seen my peak week last week, and essentially it's probably going to be a bit more of the same: uh, protein and fat loading for a few days, carb loading, and then water sodium depletion on the day, and that's it. So thank you very much for watching this vlog. Thank you very much for watching the run-up to the, the, the British. Thank you to PCA for putting together an excellent show. Thank you to all the competitors I competed with. You're all really good sports and really encouraging and a credit to amateur bodybuilding. Um, I enjoyed myself um, phenomenally and I'm looking forward to doing the next PCA show that I decide to do, whether that be... Well, it's not going to be this year. <laughs> it's not going to be this year, but it'll be some, some um, time in the future. And to Five Guys, you're dead to me. You won't see me in Five Guys in Croydon ever again. The food was, my order was incorrect. The food was cold. The food was disgusting. The food made me sick. And to top that all off, it's so expensive. Like I'm paying literally what I pay for a weekly food shop for um, a burger and chips and a hot dog and chips for me and my girlfriend. That can't run. Anyway. See you in the next update. Like, subscribe, comment for the algorithm. If you want to support me, you can get one of these lovely bits of merchandise from my big cartel. So I've still got some in stock, so get on that. Um, if you're into wrestling and you want to see me wrestle, this is where I'm going to be in the next few weeks or so. Please come down. Please come say hi. Please enjoy the show. Please buy my merch. Please buy colleagues' merch. Other fellow wrestlers support us. We're working a little hard. Until next time. Keep eating, keep cheating.